Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with our theme of Divi Basics here. We're going to build this little accordion section today. Accordions are great, especially for things like FAQ sections or just little bits of information that you want to have people click on to find out the different answers to or different information. Really easy to do and it's a nice little feature to add to your website. As I'm sure you know if you've watched any of my videos before, I think the Divi theme is absolutely great. It just keeps getting better and better with more and more features and it gets easier and easier to use. If you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. As usual, I'm going to build this on the front end with Divi's Visual Builder here. Once enabled, let's go down to the section that we want or create a new section. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this module right here and we'll start from scratch. Okay, so we've got a section. We've got a row that has two columns in it. And I'm going to add our little accordion to the second column here. Just click on the little dark plus sign there to add the new module. By default Divi comes with all these modules as standard to get you up and running, build pretty much any site you need to. So I'm going to click on the accordion module. And there we are, as you can see it's actually put two accordions in there for us already. So here they are inside our module. Let's click on the edit cog right here. This is where you can add your content obviously. I'm going to put a title in, I'm just going to call it question one. And like any other text module you can add images or you can play with the text how you like to do it, make titles. Let's just add an image for example purposes. I'm just going to hit the add media. I'm going to grab an image. Alignment, I'm going to let it stay center. I'm not going to put a link in there. If you want to put a URL in there, you can do to make the image link to something. I'm going to make it a reasonable size so it fills our little accordion up there. There we have, we've got our little image in there already. Here's our text. And like I say, you can decorate it and do what you want to with it. Just select it. This little menu will come up here. You can align it, bold it, italicize it, underline it, usual things, make it into a link, a quote, change the actual font settings there, and change the color. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. I've been using this blue. That's fine. And why don't I just make it bold as well? So let's just get that out of the way. Make that bold as well. Like I say, it's like any other text module, you can do all these things with it. So we put our content in here. I'm not going to spend too much time putting content in these things, just for examples. Now we actually want to make it how we want it. I mean, it looks fine at the moment, but I'd like our little tabs to be in perhaps this same blue as we had going on here with a bit of box shadow. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead save this. I'm just going to work on our module we've been working on, which was this one right here. So let's go in there to the cog again. Let's go over to our design. Now the icon, you can just see it there. I want that icon to be white. text for the toggle itself. I want that to be white as well. So open toggle. I'm going to make it a blue color because that's an open at the moment. This one's closed obviously. Open toggle background color. I'm going to leave that as white. 
closed toggle text color I'm going to make white and closed toggle background color I'm going to make that blue color so if we now open this one you can see it's turned that one blue right there which is just what I wanted really easy to do and let's give it a little bit of box shadow there we go and that just makes it stand out a bit now we want all the others to be the same we've only got one more at the moment let's make a few more out of this just save that module which is that module that we just worked on there I'm gonna hit the clone button on here a couple of times so we've got a few more there we go we've got six now I'm just going to go into each one, change the title. And you can put in as much or as little content into each of these as you particularly want. Just like any other text module. couple more and last one okay so we've got these in here now let's just save that one but I want them all to be the same as this first one this first one I want them to all be that color when they're closed and have this styling when they're open they won't have that styling because that's on the actual text itself but that styling should be there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this first one here and extend item styles now, I don't want it to everything on the page I want it to just this column so I'm going to hit extend and there you go as you can see it's made all these following accordion sections it's giving it the same styling so that's a little time saver here okay last but no, by no means least I want to push it down a bit so this first accordion is in line with this line of text here so let's go to design go to spacing and give me a bit of give it a bit of padding at the top or margin let's give it a bit of margin that's fine well, I guess I'm guessing I want to push it push it down about a hundred so I'm going to put a hundred in there and that's all you have to put it'll put the PX for you if you want to do it by percentage just type in a percentage sign after that that is a little bit too much let's bring it back I'm just holding my finger on that down arrow yeah probably about 90 is gonna work there we go that works for me so let's just save our changes let's save our visual builder settings so I'm just clicking on the purple button and I'll click on the save then when it's given us the check mark we can exit the visual builder scroll down and there we have it there's our FAQ accordion section like I say that's a nice little feature and really easy to implement like I say you can style it however you want to do it I've done a very very simple version today but I think it stands out quite nicely so I hope you've enjoyed that if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignertechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day